hi guys so let's in this video let's try to learn about the location strategy in the angular 18 so now in angular particularly so we'll focus on this path location strategy and hash location strategy so we'll go through this concept in detail so and i will try to apply them in the code one by one so now understanding the location strategies in angular angular generally offers two main strategies for handling the browser URLs whenever you are having an URLs so angular offers offers two main strategies so what are the strategies for example let's say that here we are having this URLs right so we will be having this type of URL slash login slash dashboard so slash post so these are the URLs which we are able to see so this is the one type of URL so let's try to see First one is a path location strategy, which is which is now we are trying to see HTML5 push state. This is the default strategy and uses the clean URLs. Example like this, we have seen it right, like like login, like slash dashboard, like that. It leverages the history dot push state method to update the browser URLs without reloading the page. And how hash location strategy? This strategy appends a hash in the URLs. Example like this. It is useful for older browsers where changing the path without a full reload is unsupported. So for older browsers, if it is not supported, means then we will be using this hash strategy. So <clears throat> why we choose the path location strategy by default? So this one is also very much important, which you people have to understand it. So now the push, push location strategy is by default. And this one is the latest one you are saying. So the all the browsers, modern browsers only it will support you are saying. So why we need to use, uh, we can use this hash location strategy, right? So what is the use? Why we choose path location strategy by default? So first one is the SEO friendly. Clean URLs without hash are better recognized by the search engines. This is the one. And server rendering. Path based URLs allow easier server side rendering, which can improve initial page load performance and user experience. URLs look cleaner and are easy to share. So that is one thing. So how to configure this path location strategy, the first step. So for path location strategy to work properly, so we need to add a base href is equal to slash element in the HTML file, which helps the router build full URLs based on its root path. So here, if you try to go here in our, sorry, in our index.html. So here we need to mention the base href is equal to slash. So for example, here we will be having something like slash root means so up to here it will become the root so here if you try to examples so here location localhost 4200 slash root up to here it will become the root so for example if i try to remove remove this one so you'll be able to see slash root slash login so here it will be slash root slash login if i click on this one so now slash up to here this one will become the root thing so here for us at the starting so you need to mention this base url so this one is used, this one is important for mentioning this path location strategy for in order to work properly the path location strategy. So first we need to implement this base href is equal to slash in the index.html file. So next what we need to do it is so in our bootstrap. So here in our main.ts, if you try to observe carefully in our main.ts, and here we are having this app config, right? Let's go open this app config. And here you can provide something like provide router of routes. That's it. So now if you try to implement this one automatically the path location strategy and all those things will be implemented so now here we have removed sorry we have removed this one right let's go into this one i will try to remove this root yeah so now we are able to see the dashboard and all those things so this is the clear example up to now what we have did is the path location strategy only the next one is the hash location strategy to configure the hash location strategy you must override the defaulting default strategy during router setup for example, let's say that, so here, if you want to implement the hash location strategy means, so here you need to implement with hash location, that's it. So here you, oh, sorry, what happened? Yeah. With hash location, that's it. So you need to implement with hash location. Now immediately it will become hash login if you try to observe. So hash dashboard, so this is how. So this is how we will be implementing the path location strategy and also the hash location strategy. So we are having a simple example. So whatever the routes we have defined it, those all the things we will try to, we have implemented it. So that's the thing. So choosing the right one for the production right strategy. So which one we need to select which one. So now if I want to try to explain you that one. So now 
Use path location strategy whenever possible as it supports SEO and server side rendering. So always try to use the path location strategy whenever it is possible. And choose hash location strategy if hosting constraints prevent server configuration for ang. So if you don't have a support for the server side server configuration and all those things, so if you don't if you are having some problems or constraints with the server configuration and all those things, then we can choose the hash location strategy. So the output and all those things will not change, but the framing of the URL and these things only will be trying to change. So this is all about the location strategy that are involved in the Angular 18. So this is, I hope you understood about this location strategy in Angular. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.